Cats are full of strange and often puzzling behaviors that leave us scratching our heads. Whether it's those random zoomies at 3 a.m. or the way they stare deep into your soul without blinking, there's always something to decode. Today, we're breaking down 10 of the most bizarre cat behaviors you've probably been misunderstanding. And trust me, the last one is the weirdest of all. If you've got a cat, you know exactly what we're talking about. It's the middle of the night, everything's peaceful, and suddenly your cat is sprinting around the house like they've seen a ghost. This late night energy burst isn't just random chaos. Cats are naturally crepuscular, meaning they're most active during dawn and dusk. So while you're winding down, your kitty is gearing up for playtime, but why do they seem to have so much energy at night? In the wild, cats use these hours to hunt, and even though your indoor cat is well-fed, those instincts don't just disappear. They've still got energy to burn, and it's got to go somewhere. To prevent 3 a.m. madness, engage them in more active play sessions during the day, and especially in the evening, to tire them out before bed. Ever seen your cat fixate on a bird outside the window and suddenly make a strange chattering noise? It sounds almost like they're trying to speak or even mimic the bird. This quirky behavior is actually tied to their predatory instincts. When your cat chirps or chatters, it's a sign of both excitement and frustration. They want to hunt the bird, but can't reach it. And the sound they're making is believed to mimic the quick bite motion they would use to kill prey. There's also a theory that they do it as a form of mimicry, trying to talk to the bird in some way. It's their way of getting ready for the hunt. Only this time, there's a pane of glass separating them from their target. Does your cat ever make biscuits on your lap or a soft blanket? Kneading is a behavior that cats carry with them from kittenhood. When they were babies, kittens would knead their mother's belly to stimulate milk production. As adults, they still find comfort in this motion, and it's often a sign that they feel safe, secure, and content around you. Kneading also has a territorial aspect. Cats have scent glands in their paws, so when they knead a surface, whether it's a blanket, your lap, or a piece of furniture, they're marking it with their scent, laying claim to their territory. So next time your cat is kneading on you, take it as a compliment. They're letting you know you're part of their safe space. Have you ever woke up to a dead mouse or bird left as a gift from your cat? While not the most pleasant surprise, it's actually a sign of affection. In the wild, cats are natural hunters and they share their prey with others in their group. Your cat is bringing you a present because they see you as part of their family. It's their way of sharing and showing they care. For indoor cats, this behavior might manifest in a different way, such as leaving toys, socks, or random household objects at your feet. They may even bring their kill to your bed as a way of showing off their skills. It's a little gross, sure, but try to see it as a compliment. Cats aren't known for being overly affectionate, so when your cat headbutts you, it's a pretty big deal. This behavior, known as bunting, is a cat's way of marking you with their scent. Cats have scent glands located on their heads, and when they bump their head against you, they're transferring that scent. It's a sign that they trust you and want to claim you as part of their family. Bunting is more than just affection, it's a territorial behavior too. When your cat headbutts you, they're telling other animals and humans that you're theirs. So the next time you get a head bump, know that it's a sign of love and trust from your feline friend. You've probably caught your cat staring at you without blinking for what feels like hours. It can be unnerving, but in the world of cats, this is actually a sign of trust. Cats don't maintain eye contact with just anyone. When your cat gives you that unblinking stare, they're showing that they're comfortable around you and feel safe in your presence. If you want to communicate the same feeling back, try slow blinking at them. This is often referred to as a cat kiss and is a way to return the love. Next time you catch your cat staring at you, give them a slow blink and see if they blink back. It's a subtle but powerful bonding moment. We've all seen it happen. Your cat spots an object on the edge of the table and with a single swipe of the paw, it goes flying. While it might seem like your cat is just being destructive for fun, there's more to this behavior than meets the eye. Cats are naturally curious and they use their paws to explore their surroundings. Knocking things over is a way for them to test their environment, see what moves, and maybe even get your attention. 
In some cases, cats knock things over because they're bored and looking for stimulation. If your cat is frequently swatting things off the table, it might be time to introduce some new toys or interactive playtime. That way they can redirect their energy in a more constructive and less destructive way. If there's a box, a bag, or a small nook, chances are your cat will try to sit in it. Cats love tight, confined spaces because it makes them feel safe and secure. In the wild, a small enclosed space offers protection from predators, and even though your indoor cat doesn't have to worry about being hunted, those instincts are still strong. Sitting in a tight space also helps cats conserve body heat, which is why they're more likely to curl up in a small box or laundry basket rather than stretch out in an open space. So next time your cat squeezes into a tiny spot, just remember, they're tapping into their primal instincts. Has your cat ever decided to groom you by licking your hair or face? While this might seem odd, it's actually a sign of affection. Cats groom each other as a way to bond and strengthen their social connections. When your cat licks you, they're treating you like one of their own, showing that they trust and love you. It's also possible that your cat is trying to clean you, as grooming is a sign of care in the cat world. While it might not be the most comfortable experience for you, try to appreciate it as your cat's way of saying, you're family. Most people assume that when a cat purrs, they're happy and content, but that's not always the case. Cats also purr when they're nervous, scared, or in pain. Purring is a self-soothing mechanism for cats, similar to how humans might hum or rock back and forth when stressed. If your cat is purring in an unusual situation, like during a vet visit or after an injury, it's not necessarily a sign that they're feeling good. Instead, they might be trying to comfort themselves in a difficult or stressful moment. Understanding this can help you better assess your cat's mood and provide the right kind of support when they're feeling anxious or unwell. Ever been gently petting your cat when, out of nowhere, they grab your hand and start bunny kicking or biting? This sudden switch from cuddly to aggressive is sometimes called petting aggression. Cats have sensitive areas, and while they may enjoy being petted, there's a point where the stimulation becomes too much for them. They'll usually give a warning with their body language, like flicking their tail or flattening their ears before going into attack mode. If you notice these signs, stop petting your cat before they feel the need to defend themselves. It's all about respecting their boundaries and understanding that cats have limits, just like humans do. Cats are full of surprises, and even their most bizarre behaviors have roots in something deeper. From those zoomies in the middle of the night to headbutts that mark you as part of their world, each quirky action reveals a little more about your feline friend. It's their way of communicating, even if it's sometimes confusing to us humans. So the next time your cat does something odd, just remember, it's all part of their unique charm. And if you wanna dive even deeper into the mysteries of your cat's behavior, we've got more fascinating insights waiting for you in our next video. See you there.